In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add mods for Minecraft so you can finally have actual fun playing Minecraft. Not saying that normal Minecraft isn't fun, but come on, who doesn't love mods? I'm going to show you how to install mods, fix all the problems that you might encounter along the way. Let's get right into the tutorial. First step number one, we're going to click the first link in the description of this video, which will bring you to this website called java.com download. In here, we're going to click agree and start free download. This should immediately start your download and you will see it here in the bottom left corner. Once Java has installed, go ahead and click it. Installing Java is the first step because Java is necessary to install other mods. Once you click Java, you should see a menu similar to this one. Go ahead and click install. The installation for Java shouldn't take that long. It all depends on your computer and don't worry about downloading Java because it's completely safe. Java has been around for many, many years. And as soon as you finish installing Java, you should see something similar to this where it says you have successfully installed Java. Go ahead and close it. Now you can go ahead and close this tab. If this was the first time you installed Java, you might encounter some problems. There is a very common problem that happens to a lot of people where Java won't show. And to fix that, we need this file called jar fix to download jar fix to make sure java runs as smooth we're going to click on the second link in the description which will bring you to this website very long name i'm not going to read it here we could directly click download and that's going to bring you down here and we're going to click download from the author's website this little thing that says jar .exe, and that should instantly start the download for jar fix we are not going to click jar fix yet instead we're going to keep it in a safe spot for me it's going to be the desktop leave it right there for now okay you can go ahead and close this tab and now now click the third link in the description which will bring you to the download website for forge forge is kind of the engine that will let us install mods think about forge like it being the gas for your car you need you need gas for your car to run you need gas for your car to run just like you need forge for mods to run there's other different engines or whatever you want to call it to run mods but forge is by far the most popular one and the one that has the most mods i mean i'm talking about hundreds and hundreds thousands of mods once you click that third link in the description it'll bring you here and here we can see all the versions of mods Minecraft up to the current date. I mean, right now it's in 1.18.2 as you can see here, but when you're watching this video, it might be 1.19, 1.20. It doesn't matter because Forge is always being updated. And since this video is to show you how to install any version of Minecraft, I went ahead and link the whole website. Now, let me tell you something. Even though I'm going to install Forge for 1.18.2, which is the newest version of Minecraft, I cannot go forward without telling you that 1.12.2 is by far what I consider the best version of Minecraft to run mods for, since many Many of the mods and the good mods I'm talking about were made for that specific version of Minecraft 1.12.2. Keep that in mind. For the tutorial, we're going to continue with 1.18.2. Go ahead and click install it. That'll bring you to this website here. Don't click anything. You don't want to get any virus or anything. Just wait five seconds until this little right corner, top right corner, says skip. And as you can see right there, we're going to click a skip and that's going to instantly start the download right here on the bottom left. We can see it. Now, don't start the installation for Forge yet. Do the same thing you did with Java fix, jar fix. I'm sorry. Drop in here in the desktop and now you can go ahead and close this website the reason i told you to not click jar fix earlier is because it's very common that when you download forge or any java file it doesn't show you this cop or it doesn't open the java installer it opens like minecraft for many of you you have told me that you click on a jar file and it takes you to the minecraft launcher we don't want that once you have downloaded forge not after only once you have downloaded it and you have not clicked on it we're going to run the jar fix go ahead and double click jar fix give it permission to run and as you can see it's a very simple and fast process it has already fix my java files and you can click ok and you could even delete it now you don't need it anymore now you might think you're ready to click forge but you're not first we need to do two things one of them is downloading a mod so we could try if the mods are working so for that i link the most popular website to download mods in the fourth link of the description which is curseforge here it should take you directly to minecraft through the link i put but if it doesn't just click on minecraft and it will bring you to here now make sure that you are in the mods tab not mod packs don't get confused because mod pack is just a bunch of mods together but in mods we could select mods independently in here we're going to select the version of minecraft that we're downloading the mods for in our case, we're downloading it for 1.18.2, which is right here, 1.18.2. Go ahead and click on that, and that should filter out all the mods that are not updated yet to 1.18.2 or whatever version you selected. Because remember, this will work for any version of Minecraft. These things get updated every day. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to download Journey Map because it's easy to see on the corner, and we could easily see if the mod works or not. And by the way, I do recommend Journey Map anyways. Let's go ahead and click download. It should bring you over here. You're gonna wait five seconds, and the download will start immediately. And since we already filter it to 1.18.2, it will download the correct version of the mod. 
mod. Now, don't click on that yet. Drop it to the desktop or wherever you're dropping your files. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm not even going to close it because I know I'm going to come back for mods later. Now, remember I said you needed to do two steps. That's already one of them. The second step is to launch Minecraft Launcher. Just your regular Minecraft Launcher. No mods, nothing without installing anything. Just launch Minecraft because we need to do something before we run the installation for Forge. And that is running the matching version of Minecraft to the matching version of Forge that we are installing the mods for. If that sounded really confusing, it might be my bad accent, but here is what I mean. Since we're installing Forge 1.18.2, we need to run Minecraft 1.18.2 first. I selected 1.18.2 and we need to run this first. So there is an installation folder created in the Minecraft files. So that way, when we run the installer for Forge, Forge would automatically find that correct version of Minecraft because if you haven't run it yet, you might encounter some problems. All you have to do is double click Minecraft, let it load. And once it has loaded, you could go ahead and quit the game. And now we could finally install Forge 1.18.2. Go ahead and right click it, click open with and click Java. Now, if Java doesn't show there, it usually should show there. You could click choose another app and maybe find it down here. And if it's not showing there, make sure that you run your jar fix. Okay. Remember, rewatch the tutorial if you need to. Now we could go ahead and click okay. And the Forge installer should open. As you can see here, we're not going to change any settings. We're not going to install a server or anything like that. We're installing the client. We're installing the mods for ourselves, not for a server or anything like that. Click OK and the Forge installation should start. It might take longer for you. It all depends on your computer and how fast it is. And after a couple seconds or maybe a minute for you, it should say that the version of Forge has been successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK. Now we could even delete the Forge installation file. I like to keep the desktop clean. I like to keep my files clean. And that way I also help you guys to follow along the tutorial. Now we have finally installed the engine, right? We have installed Forge to run mods. How do we put the mods into Forge? How do we load those mods? Okay, I'm going to show you the easy way. Go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. Do not click play. We're going to select Forge. As you can see right here, I have Forge 1.18.2. Go ahead and click on that. If it's not showing down here when you click this arrow, come to installations on the top and make sure you have modded selected. Because if you don't have modded selected, as you can see, it doesn't show Forge. So we're going to click modded. How do we add those mods into Forge? I'm going to teach you how to add mods without even opening Forge first. You don't need to open Minecraft. You could just simply come to installations, find Forge and click on this little folder right next to play. Once you click on that folder, it's going to open this folder with a lot of things. Don't get confused. Simply go to the folder name mods. Okay, easy. M-O-D-S mods. Once you're in the mods folder, it should be completely empty. You shouldn't have anything here because you haven't run mods before. Because otherwise, why would you be watching this tutorial? Unless you came here just to like and subscribe. Once we're in the mods folder, go ahead and drop the mod we downloaded earlier, which was journey map. You could go ahead and drop that in there. And that's it. You could finally close the folder. And now we could click play on Forge. It could be through the installations or it could be back here. Go ahead and click play. It's going to give you a little warning saying that you're running a different version of Minecraft, blah, blah, blah. Just click I understand and click play. When you open the modded version of Minecraft, it might take longer to open than regular Minecraft because it's running mods and it has to load more stuff into your RAM. And I don't know what to check if our mod works. I click on a world to see if our map loads in the top right corner. And as you can see, it didn't load. What? A tutorial not working? Hold up. Before you think it's not working, it is. And this is the part where I said I was going to help you solve some problems. Why isn't the map showing on top? We did everything right, right? We didn't. And here's what I did wrong. And hopefully if you had the same problem, you could fix it now. We come back to the main menu, go to mods, click open mods folder. We can see that the journey map or the mod that I downloaded was for fabric. Remember when I said there's different engines and we're running Forge, not fabric. Fabric and Forge mods are not cross compatible with each other. They only run on their engine, right? You cannot put this on a car that runs on gas. And if you try so, it won't work. So what we are going to do is download Forge mods because we installed Forge engine. Go ahead and delete this. You don't need that. And this is why I didn't tell you to close this tab. I only said minimize it because I knew we'll be coming back later. Come back to Curse Forge and make sure that when you download a mod, let's say that we want the journey map as we were doing before. You click on the mod, come to files. Once you're in files, scroll down a little bit until you can see all the recent files because I assume that you're installing the most recent versions. And as you can see, there's fabric and there is Forge. We're now going to download Forge. Same process as before. Let it load five seconds. It's completely safe and you should show down here in the bottom left. We're going to go back to our mod folder. You could either open it through the game or you could open it through the main menu as I showed you earlier in the Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and drop this in here. Reopen Minecraft to the launcher. Make sure Forge is selected.
selected click play before i open the world i'm going to click on mods and as we can see journey map is already showing we're gonna go ahead and click single player click on any of your worlds or create a new world whatever you want to do let's let it load and let's see if our mod is finally working and yes we did look at the top right corner as you can see the map is right there we could click j and see the big map and this is one of the greatest mods for minecraft journey map now at this point of the tutorial i hope that i was able to help you install mods and fix any issues that you might encounter if you want to learn what are the best shaders for minecraft right now go ahead and click on this video right here that is going to show you what i consider to be the best shaders come on what are you waiting for click on it time's gone click on it i know you want to come on come on 